Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, That's The Way. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing 2017. Whoa. I hope you guys are having an amazing 2018 so far. I know I am, and I'm very, very blessed so far for this year. I can't wait. I am turning 20 next month, and I am just so excited for the journey that I am going to be going on in 2018. But now that 2018 is here, I just want to give you guys some tips and some tricks of how to stay happy slash motivated. Number one is to do things that you love. For example, I love to sing, I love to write poems, I love to write stories, I love to draw. I'm a very, very artistic person. I love to draw, I love to write, I love to sing, even though I'm not a very good singer. I love to do every single one of those, um, and that's what makes me happy. Whenever I feel mad or feel sad or something, I draw my feelings out in a piece of paper and I rip it up and I burn it or I throw it away, crumble it, and and then I throw my energy, my my sad energy away. And that's how my, 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 my sadness go away. Number two, think to yourself that you are special and that you were put on this earth for a reason. Now, one of my close friends used to say, if someone is bullying you, that means that you are doing something right in order for them to bully you for being gay or for being different or something. So I think to myself that I am put on this earth to make people laugh. I am put on this earth to just be my crazy self so that's what makes me motivated every single time i i feel really down feel really sad feel very vulnerable i just think to myself that hey if god didn't want me on this earth then i would not have been here with a wonderful family that loves me and a wonderful job that is paying my bill well i don't have bills so i can't really say that so Whatever. Number three, which is a very important thing, which is to laugh. I don't know how many people I know that don't laugh, that don't show their teeth and stuff. I'm a very energized person, so regardless if you smile or not when you're around me, you're going to have to smile because I love to see people smile and I love to see people just having fun. I just love pe pe people's faces glowing and so nice and so cute and studies show that you do live longer if you do smile and laugh and just be yourself <laughs> number four give yourself time slash breaks slash a mind break now, I do need these sometimes because I do work a lot and sometimes I get caught up in like my job and stuff when you're hard on yourself it can really strain yourself you can really strain yourself and you can be very very depressed and stuff and I can Guaranteed, I've been in no in that position for so long. So it's just calming down and thinking and letting your mind rest is such a good relief. Number five goes with number four, and number five is don't be too hard on yourself. For me, I'm a very I'm I feel that I'm a very pers a person that is very um, persistent. Is that the word? For example, my Starbucks job. I work at Starbucks and for three months I was like, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna have to find another job. I can't stand Starbucks, but when I started getting harder on myself, harder on myself, I tend to forget all the drinks and I forgot how to make it. I forgot how to interact with customers and stuff just because I was a very I was very hard on myself and I realized that if I made mistakes, if I wasn't hard on myself, that I did become better at my job where I won employee of the quarter. So it was very, very really helpful for me to realize that people are seeing my progress and people are seeing my strengths and my weaknesses and stuff. And my weakness to myself is that I do pressure myself a lot. Number six is to surround yourself with positivity. And this one is a key one for me because I don't like haters I don't like negative people being around positive people and people who lift you up and don't drag you down and who encourage you into doing what you want and making sure that it's a very very safe way of living and stuff I have my family who's never gonna give up on me I have my friends who's been there since day one whatever but being around positive people can change your mood can change your attitude and to, can change your whole demeanor in a whole day and the last but not least is my second my well my first 
number one key is to be yourself i cannot tell you how many people i know that try to be other than themselves and within being other people within being someone they're not they lose themselves and they become a very very unhappy person from my point of view from my experiences that trying to be straight or trying to be a masculine type of guy was very very uncomfortable it wasn't something i was used to it's something that i wasn't really okay with i grew up knowing that not a lot of people were not going to like me because of my sexuality or because of the way i walked or the way i talked or the way i held my hands and stuff if you want to take one for just a spin take this one for a spin is to be yourself because if you're not yourself then what well, i don't know what else to say i just you have to be yourself so i hope you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment below all my social medias are in the description box below and on the next slide see you guys next time